Every day, ISIS urges young men and women to give up their lives and to join the terrorist organization. They run a very powerful propaganda machine on social media. So let's talk it over with former jihadist turned counterterrorism operative Mubin Sheikh. Thank you for being with me, Mubin. And, and right now, as I sit here in Paris in the middle of the night, the eighth attacker, Salah Abdesalam, still on the run. I want you to listen to what a mother whose son joined ISIS in 2013 and subsequently died, what she told me earlier. They're spending a lot of time and resources on focusing on our youth and developing a relationship. So they take the time to connect with them, surround them 24 7, building those relationships, manipulating their motivations, and guiding them in a different path and different direction and answering all those difficult questions. That's not something that we're doing. We're not intercepting our youth. We're not mentoring our youth. We're not guiding our youth. And we're not spending our resources on them. She, you see her son right there, and she told me about sort of being hopeful when her son started practicing Islam, that he was turning his life around, and then he just went off the rails. What is it about ISIS as a recruitment machine that is so powerful? Yeah, this is a it's a problem for especially parents whose uh, kids are in a, maybe an experimental phase. They're, they're trying to uh, figure out what their purpose is in life. Um, it could be because of their friends and what they're maybe proselytizing from friends that they they become interested in Islam. Uh, but what kind of Islam? That's that's really the question. And you know, non-Muslim parents, I mean, they might just see this as a phase. They want to be respectful, uh, but at the same time, it's a real concern for them. Um, you know, and even in my time when I was, uh, you know, from 95 to 2001, when I was involved in these extremist groups, we did the same thing. We looked for converts, especially, who were uh, alienated from their parents, who may have been kicked out of their homes, uh, and we're looking for new, new peer groups and a new sense of belonging. And for a lot of these young people, uh, they're just not, they just don't fit with their parents, with other older, um, uh, you know, people in the community. It could be imams. Uh, who are, you know, 20 years older than them, may not speak English properly, mm -hmm. uh, don't know the, the, the popular culture in which they live. So these are things in which the youth are very confused and will latch on to whoever gives them that sense of meaning and belonging. What drew you in, Mubin, and, and what do you think parents specifically can do to counter this? You know, I, I was drawn into it by uh, a, a, an acute identity crisis. Uh, you know, I wasn't deprived, I wasn't picked on, I wasn't bullied, I wasn't the victim of racism. Uh, for me, I was being told that I wasn't a good enough Muslim. And I interpreted that in my mind as, okay, I need to be religious, quote unquote. And for a lot of Muslims today, especially young Muslims, they're pressured into thinking that, you know, they have to keep a full beard, they have to wear robes. Uh, effectively, you know, dressing like, you know, the prophet, peace be upon him, or the companions did. And, and it, what happens is it, it, it makes them alienated because once you start dressing like that, and it's really not, it's still strange for people to see that kind of dress, it actually in, enforces, reinforces that sense of isolation and alienation. Um, so what I would tell parents really is, uh, find the right Islam. I mean, it's, it's actually not difficult to find. You will find uh, many Muslim scholars, mainstream Islamic scholars, who condemn ISIS, who condemn these extremist interpretations. Uh, you know, uh, Islam teaches justice. It's about being just. Uh, you know, there are verses in the Quran, you know, that say, uh, don't cause, just because of your dislike of a people, uh, don't be unjust to them. So the idea is to be just to people. And you'll find many scholars like this uh, online and in the real world. Absolutely. Move and shake. Thank you so much. Hearing from you and your personal experience a critical at a time like this. We appreciate it. Thank you.